It was 1975. In the Dixie Mafia's South, Frank Looper was a dangerous man because he was an honest cop. When I got the call, I almost dropped the phone. Got a phone call. Looper's been shot. A couple hours later, we heard he was, he was dead. In a state under the siege of one of history's most successful bank robbery gangs. But he said, I think I probably stole around $8 million. In a southern city plagued by police corruption, drugs, and guns. Stuff was going crazy. The narcs were crazy, city cops were crazy, county cops, drug act. Everybody was running crazy back then. Drug cop Lieutenant Frank Looper knew too much. From the very start, all the talk was it was an inside job. He was aware of something terribly wrong that was getting ready to be made public. Investigators said the murders, a father and son killed execution style in their garage, was just a midday robbery gone bad. Shot behind the left ear, about an inch from the earlobe. And them to say it was a robbery murder case does not add up at all. A jury sent a man to death row, a man who said he was innocent. The fear that they're actually going to kill you, people don't realize how that feel. When he went away, a giant ledger of crimes in the county courthouse listed his charge as murder, etc. This thing, it has went on long enough. Four decades later, I can't even go home. A celebrated city is reckoning with its dark past. I'd rather serve a little time and be alive than tell and be dead. A man is still fighting to clear his name. I'll stop when God tell me to stop. And everyone is about to learn what really happened on the way to that murder conviction. Who is there left that would have anything to lose unless the killer is still alive? This time, the story will be the murder and the etc. everyone was too afraid to talk about. It's selfish. If you're afraid to tell the truth because of fear, you're not much of a man or a woman. Be careful. There are people that would like for me to keep my mouth shut.